bad taste or a chance to step back in time. You're looking at Titanic, the second. The brainchild of an Australian mining billionaire determined to replicate the doomed liner. I'm funding this myself because I, I want to spend the money I've got before I die, you know? which is a reasonable proposition. If you work hard for 40% you know, or 50% of your life, you may as well spend it, not leave it to the kids to spend. There'll be enough left for them anyway. So, you know. A cruise where passengers can dress up and pretend that they're living in a different era. The ship has its original gilded first-class dining and smoking rooms, but that's only if you've got the appropriate ticket. It will be a faithful reconstruction of the original, but with some modern touches like air conditioning. But not everyone's convinced. Well, I think it's utterly pointless um, and, and in rather poor taste, really, because, I mean, obviously no survivors still around, but there are still, um, you know, relations of, of survivors um, and people were still, people who, who went down on the Titanic. And, and uh, I just, just don't, I really don't see the point. But with 40,000 people already registered for a voyage on the new craft, the issue is up for debate. I'm very keen on anything that perpetuates the memory of Titanic. Around 1,500 people died on Titanic's maiden voyage back in 1912, from Southampton to New York, after the ship collided with an iceberg in the North Atlantic. With its grave still at the bottom of the ocean, could history have a chance of repeating itself? One of the benefits of global warming has been there isn't so many icebergs in the North Atlantic these days. With Titanic 2 set to launch in 2016, there's certainly time to save. Nicola Carroll, BBC News.